Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you what you can do with the Tills password, why you would need to set one, okay? So, A, B, C, 1, 2, 3 will be our test password. A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Log in. This is not like an administrative password or anything. I'll be back when it loads. Okay, so here we are. Sorry about that. Had a little distraction I had to address. This is what you need the pass, the administrative password for. You're going to go to places and it will let you into the main file system. You cannot get in it without the password. It's not administrative, it's a root password. This is what you need. Our test password was ABC123. ABC123. And authenticate. And you'll see it lets you in. There you go. You don't need the computer's administrative password. It is completely unnecessary. The only thing you need is the root password. It, you don't need... So, like... If you forget your computer's password, the administrative one, and you need into the administrative account, you can get into it like this. You can get in, see all the files, everything else. So, it's good for if you lose your password, if your friend loses his password, uh, if you're an adult and your kid locks you out of uh, the computer or something. like they're doing something and you don't know what and you want to get into their computer and see what they're doing you can do it like this so uh, there you go that's what you can use it for you also need it if you're going to install an application because you're going to go into the terminal I think it's under system tools I'm not sure uh, terminal 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 yeah you're going to go into the terminal and if you're installing a program or something, then you will need the uh, you only need the root password that you set in order to do that. So uh, I think that wraps it up for this video, because that's all I've that's all the uses I've found for it thus far. And so hope you have a great day. Goodbye.